Time to get a grip. And yes, we're just getting that joke out of the way first. Because it's going to be the worst one by far. Oh, God damn it! they made the same joke I did. Mm. <clears throat> ah, I'm so angry I belched. Let's see what the eShop link is for. 35, 37, 39. 40. So, about $50 worth of DLC for this game. Their bundles, I'm still counting them toward the overall total. In all of these, like, racing style games, or just car control games, I'm still not sure whether I like having brake and accelerate on the triggers, or if I prefer to have it, like, on two of the face buttons more. My opinion on that uh, seems to change almost daily. Oh, oh. They don't call it a tutorial, it's a primer. Okay. Following the usual Mario Kart F0 stop. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this steering is going to get used to. <laughs> is this what you meant? I have to press R to use it. Okay, that's going to be awkward. Because if I hit R for weapons. I mean, unless they expect me to play with my middle finger on the trigger. That gets really awkward really fast. Oh, so they can flip over either way. That actually reminds me of a remote control car I used to have as a kid, where it had one set of wheels in the front and then two sets of wheels stacked on top of each other in the back. So you were supposed to be able to drive it from like any angle. Then I just set it on top of the wheels and then yeah, it didn't quite work out. Oh, and they limit specific pickups to this. All right, fair enough. Oh. Let's play a game of was that, oh, that pop-in. Was that concept art or is that part of the presentation? Now is this supposed to be like, me running pole? Or is this the actual race? I would assume it's pole because I'm the only car on the track. Okay, you can be less grandiose about coming in first. But... All right. I was going to say, you can be less grandiose about the first place finish. I was the only car on the track. I was expecting to lose control when I did that, but that actually handled pretty well. Ah, I lost it right at the end. I'm still in first. So did that first race act as like pity points? There's no way I should be in first after that. Now that has to be concept art. And that has to be the floor. Well, that was bound to happen sooner or later. So I'm not getting disoriented by the going on the walls, going on the ceiling shit yet. I assume that that'll become more complex as it goes on and then I'll just get completely nauseous. I won't go so far as to say I don't like the music. As much as it's just an afterthought. Hey, uh huh? So do the points actually matter? Because I finished first that race, K-15 finished first the previous race. There's a thousand point difference between us, but we still needed a tiebreaker. I... I d sure? I think my rock and roll racing instincts kicked in because I thought, can I buy another vehicle yet? No, this is all level based. I just realized there are 11 different tiers of racing. We are not getting through all of those. We're probably not even getting through half of those. I will admit, like, levels designed like this, and shit like F-Zero, were always like my least favorite tracks to do. Usually because the AI would do something really fucking bizarre in the tube, that would make me lose. Okay, now I'm getting disoriented. Oh, excuse me. 
Also, sometimes I'm hitting the bumper to use the items and it's just not having it. Okay. I couldn't tell where the edge of the track was. Uh, please land clean. Ugh. I think this is making me realize I'm more the type of racing game person who likes to just be grounded. I thought we already did a, a lap. Why did that happen? Oh, God damn it. Whoa. Okay, the camera did not know how to handle that. Camera, please. This game looks cool, but it doesn't play as cool thus far. How much of that is still me adjusting to the game and how much of that is actual issues with the design, I'm still trying to work out. Sometimes I'll just look up and see that I'm in like second place or first place and I will have no idea how I got there. Oh, was that supposed to be like me getting clipped by the cut? It looked like we didn't touch. Oh, clipping. I mean, you go fast in this game, but you're not supposed to go through environment pieces fast. Also, I'm noticing it starts you in a different position every time you restart. Oh, what? Ugh. Oh, I just noticed the pop in for the background. Okay, it happened again. Maybe that's just a general collision detection issue. Oh, jeez. I'm assuming that that pop-in is just a thing for like certain console versions, which I mean the Switch version. Ah, fuck, I missed the boost. Oh, I just realized with this map, it basically is pod racing now. Remind me to say, whoa, when I slam into a wall. Well, I, camera, camera. Oh, that wasn't worth it. Wait, how am I? Never mind. There are a game where you succeed and where like success comes your way and you have no idea how it got there. Ah, oh, jeez. Vertigo is strong with this one. Episode one where it's really good. I found that like outside of a handful of tracks in that game, it was pretty good. There was some in there that just seemed unnecessarily dickish. Use air control to land correctly so you don't lose speed. I'm kind of trying to do that. Uh, sort of like a track mania style mechanic. Okay, it, can, it seems like they're kind of cannibalizing each other, judging by the prompts that keep showing up on the lower part of the screen. So I'm just going to try and not wreck. Hey, I used it correctly. Excuse me? Oh, we are not having that in this establishment. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. I missed all those. I'm not sure how I stayed on the track after that. You son of a bitch. I don't know how I recovered from that. That wasn't so bad, but again, that was a track that was, was more grounded than the other ones. Over three seconds? All right. Hey, who shot me after the race was over? You want to start something? Level four, we're already at Dream Destroyer. I feel compelled to stay on the ground as much as possible, because it seems like this is the kind of game where when you're airborne, you're losing speed. Unless you boost through it like I do. That was a really short race. So I won't say I'm like over the moon about this game so far, but I am enjoying myself. Wow, they needed a tiebreaker to determine who really was the worst. That was as bad a start as I could get. <laughs> wow.
That was basically me tripping and falling on my face at the moment, like the start gun went, hello, pop in. This was designed similarly to a previous course, but now it's uh, sufficiently different. I couldn't even see what the fuck was going on. Isn't this just roll cage? I haven't played that either, so I couldn't tell you. I, I don't even know. No. <laughs> no, no. We're not going to have the Three Stooges start and then just pretend that's okay. Why the fuck did my car just bounce? <laughs> For a game called Grip, it's very easy to lose grip with the vehicle. Ugh. Note to self, never use a weapon indoors. What? Well, huh? Why did that happen? I mean, it looks cool when your car's like spinning through the air, or you can have instances where like you land on a track and then you have to go the opposite direction to continue with it. So it allows you to be creative with the track design, but for just a normal race, that's a massive pain in the ass. What? Excuse me? I don't even know how I saved that, but I saved that. Based upon some of the character designs seen in the loading screen, it seems like... They were trying to do a little more with this game than just say, here go race. But I wonder if there, they had certain limitations tied to that and this was just all they could do. Oh god, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> Wait, how am I in first? Fuck. Oh, I, I rode the invisible wall. Awesome. Also, yes, level five is getting a grip. That's how many times that the game grip has made the get a grip, like phrase reference in grip. I can't tell if that's the sky or a missing texture. Oh, that's the road. I mean, I'll give them props. This is like a bright, colorful stage, which is very welcome after the- okay, now we're doing this. Which is a very welcome change of pace. So I'm all about this. Oh, we gotta go down the drain, just like this game is going down the drain- genius. Oh god, this is becoming like a track mania map at this rate. Camera! Jeez. Great. <laughs> These missiles have been... It's like a 50-50 chance of whether they'll actually move toward the target or not. Because you pretty much need to fire them when you're, like, at the very least, like, on the ground, not moving around much. Holy shit, there was a three-way tie? Sorry, I was just thinking, what if they had a game that was just all of those old, R like, flipping RC cars? And he just raced around as them in somebody's backyard. Or down the street. Uh, the frame rate is kind of taking a vacation. Just like the grip for my vehicle. Which way's forward? Wait, why is it saying I'm in... I don't even know what's happening. So are the rules to just like, inflict as much damage as you can? Because it seems like my points went up when I shot people. Okay. Yeah, that is how it works. So I guess I got points for, like, stunts, maybe? Is this one of the instances where flying around like a dumbass actually plays to my advantage? Oh, broke the camera again. 
follow this frame rate. Uh, nothing hit me and I just turned side with, oh God. Oh, we're tied now? Well, I have to make sure I'm first on this one. I need to figure out how to rack up points on this date, but again, it kind of completely depends on what items you're given. I think if I can get at least like second, maybe third when I hit the start line, I'll be in a good enough position that the lap bonus will help me win. Okay. All right, can we do less ultimate race now? Never mind. Let's do Deathmatch Arena because I haven't done that yet. Oh, the frame rate did not like that. Okay, yeah. the game is really struggling with this. Uh, okay, this is approaching unplayable. It's not there yet, but it's approaching. I don't know if that twitching is supposed to be an electronic interference thing, or if the game is just falling apart. Oh, he went through the wall. Ugh. Oh great, those just shot straight into the ground. I was gonna say, it's hard to tell how well I'm doing, but that's also because my eyes keep playing tricks on me. Like every time it goes to the bright section, it's harder for me to see the numbers. Oh shit. Um, we got almost 4,000 points more than everybody else. Somehow that worked. Oh my god. How did I get that the first time and then haven't been able to hit it since? Alright, that was a clean race. I think this game needs more of the brighter stages. It should be more showcased than, like, presented as a novelty. Also, what was going on with that slowdown at the start? Shit, too fast. <laughs> we embedded half the car in a wall. A little too fast. And it's not the kind of game where you're supposed to be able to do that. A little too fast. What was that whole sequence? Great. Wonderful. Uh, my wheels went through the wall again. That's not supposed to happen. 2018 spiritual successor to Roll. Oh, that's why one will brought that up earlier. Oh my god. Uh. Jeez, that's an F-Zero GX move. <laughs> F-Zero GX move is getting blown up and having to destroy vehicle across the finish line. I'd count both of those, quite frankly. Uh, I need to get as many cars off screen as possible. The frame rate doesn't like this. Uh, uh camera, please. Uh, okay. The track mania is strong with this one. I somehow stumbled my way into second place. So that's encouraging, I guess. Never mind. Do you think that someone will watch this video and say, oh, this is a great game. You're just out of touch with like standards for good racers. And then I'll have the opportunity to say, so you're saying I've lost my grip on quality? Wonderful. Oh, what? What? <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, this frame rates. I didn't notice it as much before because I was running out in front a lot, but holy shit, it gets bad. 
Uh, even running out in front, the frame rate is all over the goddamn place. I need to enter my zen state. Last minute rocket means nothing to me in the Zen state. Slick tires but edgy. No, all the X's on the tires are part of their AOL Instant Messenger screen name. The ones on the left are on the left side of the username with underscores. And then the right ones are on the right side of the username but with underscores. And then there's a 420 and a 69 somewhere in between. No wonder this is a dystopian looking future. AOL still reigning supreme. Oh, jeez. It's not just AOL. You know what the browser of choice is in this universe? Netscape Navigator. You know what the top selling video game is in this universe? Final Pong 13 3. You know what the best selling like box office movie is in this universe? Scary Movie 8. What the fuck was that? Oh, is that an audio glitch? Three ties in that, really? You know, I'll try. Just because the end of this is something we haven't done yet. They built up this rivalry thing. So now I have to actually see what it is. Oh, ah. Too busy celebrating to steer. Jeez. Wait, I'm back on Dream Destroyer? That was the name of a previous level. Ah, oh, jeez, it's an ultimate race. I think this might be my least favorite mode. Ah, oh, of course you would do that right as I'm launching the rocket. Son of a bitch. Oh, shit. Um, I just phased through somebody. I think. Okay, that was close. I can see him right behind me on the radar. Oh shit, we're fighting Vector Man. Wait, Vector? Did he do anything in this series? I don't remember his name coming up a lot. Whoa, what the fuck? Camera? What the fuck was that? Well, that was the rivalry race. That was underwhelming. Getting a grip. They did it again. How many times are you going to say getting a grip in grip? Wait. Look at the bottom of the screen. Or clip that and go back to it. It said game over, insert coin to continue. Yeah, it basically just looks like the same thing. So I think we're done. We also unlocked tires such as this tire, other tire, off-brand tire, bootleg tire, $25 for a full set tire. So I almost said, wait, there's lore in this game, but this seems more like just... Fragment by a violent asteroid impact. They actually bothered to put a little bit of lore in this. Oh geez, they fucked up the uh, aspect for this. You can see where it cuts off at the bottom and the top. I was kind of split on this. But even considering the things I don't like about this, the like really inopportune items, the wonky physics, the rivalry system that just seems to be there because, I think this is actually worthy of the SCXCR I don't hate this badge. Which if I remember correctly has only ever gone to one other racing game.